Humans have always desired to be a god. Now when the boom of technology has taken us to the peak of advancement, we started to build robots to fulfill that desire. However, female robots are on a different level. They can talk, they can do your work, even they can be a great source of entertainment. Do you want to be blown away by the ultra-modern technology of female humanoids? This video will make you awestruck as we are gonna present the top 5 Japanese female humanoid robots. But before that, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Think you like what you see? Then also be sure to hit that bell icon while you are at it to ensure that you are notified every time we come out with a fresh new piece of content for you. That being said, let's begin. So what is a humanoid robot? A humanoid robot has a body that is meant to resemble that of a person. The design might be for practical objectives, such as interfacing with human equipment and settings, or for experimental ones, such as bipedal movement research. In general, humanoid robots feature a chest, a head, two arms, and two legs. Some humanoid robots have heads designed to resemble human characteristics, such as eyes and lips. In several industries, humanoid robots are currently being employed in different job profiles. Humanoid robots might be utilized in everyday life to accomplish tasks that people don't want to do, and the humanoids would be more efficient at it. They will improve through time and will be able to perform numerous activities more efficiently and inexpensively than human labor. Making robots that act like people in an environment built for humans is a key issue in robotics. They can maneuver and carry out well-designed jobs. As long as they have the appropriate software, humanoid robots can perform any task that a human can. They lack cognitive and physiological agency, despite their realistic appearance. In robotics, no country can beat Japan. While the West views robots and artificial intelligence as a potential danger, Japan takes a more spiritual approach, which has resulted in a complicated relationship with technology. Japan has long been recognized as the country that is most passionate about creating and bonding with humanoid robots. While this image is frequently dramatized outside of Japan, Japanese homes and companies are not overwhelmingly occupied with androids, as hyperventilating headlines indicate. But it is not exaggerating to say that Japan is definitely a pioneer in robotics. Some Japanese observers believe that the country's original religion, Shinto, explains the country's affection for robots. Shinto is a kind of animism in which spirits or kami are attributed not just to humans but also to animals, natural elements such as mountains, and even everyday items such as pencils. You saw the ideology of the Japanese behind robots. Now it's time to bring them on. The first one on our list is Alter. Alter is a component of a new research project called Artificial Life. The purpose is to investigate the future of human communication as well as new types of entertainment. The project is a collaboration between Mixi Corporation, Tokyo National University, Osaka University, and Warner Music Japan Co. Limited. Alter is a humanoid robot with a naked torso that reveals the machine within, as well as an ageless face. Hiroshi Ishiguro of Osaka University and Mixi Corporation collaborated on the project. It has an artificial neural network incorporated in it that was created by University of Tokyo Artificial Life Experts. Unlike the other Alter models, Alter 3 has a better singing expression around the mouth, expressive capabilities, human sensing systems, and mouth vocalization capability. It features a neutral network that repeats neurons, letting the robot build its own movement patterns based on proximity, temperature, and humidity sensors. The configuration does not allow for human-like movement, but it does give the observer the weird impression that this robot is alive. After all is the point. Alter also sings, but in a gruesome, horrible manner. The machine's melancholy song is made up of sine waves that vocalize how the robot's fingers move. Let's move on to the next one and this one is an aspiring actress. Don't believe me, see it yourself. A humanoid robot created by Japanese scientists will appear in a Hollywood film with a $70 million budget. Erika is the name of the robot, which was constructed by Hiroshi Ishiguro and Koei Agawa, two well-known humanoid roboticists. Erika was allegedly trained in the practice of method acting, in which an actress strives for deep emotional identification with a role. Erika would have to rely on the algorithm embedded into her operation to simulate whatever feelings are necessary because she lacks emotions of her own. Erika will feature in the film B, which is sponsored by Bonded Capital Media which has previously co-produced films such as the Oscar-nominated Loving Vincent. Its creator Ishiguro said, The principle of beauty is captured in the average face, 
So I used images of 30 beautiful women, mixed up their features, and used the average for each to design the nose, eyes, and so on, pacing up and down his office at ATR's Robotics Laboratory. That means she should appeal to everyone. Her speech has improved, and she can understand and reply to queries with uncannily human-like changes in her facial expression accompanying each sentence. Ishiguro claims that Erika is the most beautiful and smartest android on the planet. Erika can monitor individuals in a room using 14 infrared sensors and face recognition technologies. Erika has also learned jokes. This robot can be loving and compassionate. She may soon have an autonomous awareness, according to her creator. While Erika is getting ready to make her acting debut, we've started down a slippery slope that might lead to artificially intelligent performers becoming more famous in Hollywood. In a movie theater near you, an exciting new trend is about to begin. Here comes the next, Actroid. The Actroid of Telepresence robot by Kokoro is a full-sized female humanoid with intricate face motions and a lifelike look. It can blink, shift its eyes, and neck, bow, and even breathe, even though it can't move from its chair. The Actroid F female robot is a modified version of the Geminoid F female robot that we previously described. She is simpler, cheaper, and easier to power. Household electricity may power the air compressor and valves that govern Actroid F's motion. The Actroid F is also 30 kilograms lighter than the previous full-scale Actroid robots. Actroid can now make eye contact and gesture in the direction of someone who is attempting to communicate with her, allowing it to handle large crowds with ease. Now we'll be talking about Asuna. Asuna is an android that was initially shown at the 2015 Wonder Festival in Chiba, Japan, by Hiroshi Ishiguro in partnership with the team at Tokyo-based AE Lab. She appears to be a sweet 15-year-old girl, standing around 155 centimeters tall and weighing around 43 kilograms. Indeed, this hyper-real robot is so human-like that even a reporter covering the convention was misled, mistaking it for one of the AKB48 band stars. Sure, you've definitely seen photographs of humanoid robots before, but it's her emotions that make this android so appealing. The sheer naturalness of Asuna's mannerisms will astound you. Asuna is absolutely unique among androids, from the way she blinks and squeezes her eyelids shut to the shape her lips take as if she were going to yawn. Asuna has beautiful skin and delicate facial characteristics, including soft and squishy ears that are similar to actual human ears. Her motions are now confined to blinking, yawning, and a few other charming expressions, all of which are controlled solely by a distant human operator. Her inventors are currently contemplating applications for the technology, such as turning Asuna into a pop star. Now comes the last one, the social robot Nadine. Scientists have developed a robot that recognizes you and remembers your name the second time it encounters you. Meet Nadine. Nadine has something more that sets her apart from the other robots. She is a socially intelligent, human-like robot with her own personality, mood, and feelings. Professor Nadia Thalman, Nadine's human inventor, predicts that physical social robots like Nadine are said to become increasingly apparent in companies and households in the future. Feeling something odd? Yeah, you guessed it right. Nadine is actually a robot version of its creator, Professor Nadia. The fundamental purpose of a social robot is to engage and communicate with humans while adhering to certain social behavior and conventions and Nadine has all of the features that make her a social robot. Face recognition is one of the submodules of the perception layer of Nadine's architecture. Nadine customizes her reactions and conduct according to the person's identification. If required, the emotional module can utilize this information to alter feelings, mood, and so on. Nadine uses the Google Cloud voice-to-text technology for speech recognition, which supports up to 120 languages. Nadine began her career as a receptionist at Nanyang Technological University, which built her network of friends to students, employees and visitors to NTU's Institute of Media Innovation. Love them, I am sure you will. They are gorgeous, funny and intelligent too. You might fall in love with them anytime. On that note, it's time to say goodbye. If you have liked this video, then make sure to hit the like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss another update. See you in the next one. Until then, peace.